All right, so right here is one of those songs for me that inspires just like a pure sense of joy and love for the holidays. Mainly because I, I heard it when I was a kid, a baby, and I heard it every year since then. And I mean, what better time to experience Christmas than as a child? This song, it came out in 1958. So many generations, they heard this song as a kid. So a lot of these type of songs, I think, inspire that just like pure guttural joy and love for the holiday. This song, quick fact, is the singer is Brenda Lee, and she was 13 years old when she sang this. Listen to her voice, 13 years old. Yeah, and the saxo. So, I mean, 13 years old, I'm just gonna pause it for a second. 13 years old, that's pretty crazy. I mean, she sounds like a grown woman. The sax solo is really the reason why I chose this song. Um, you know, this old time rockabilly or rock and roll type of saxophone tone and sound that was performed a lot, you know, like with Ray Charles, uh, with, with things like this, um, is such a specific style of saxophone that you don't hear anymore. It's just like this guttural, um, really extreme, you know, to the wall just type of sound. This solo is, I, I did research just like the other week when I was gonna perform the solo, I found out that it's by Boots Randolph. And if you know Boots Randolph, you probably know the song Yakety Sax. I'll play it for a second. Yakety Sax, so this song, I think if you know the name Boots Randolph, you know this song. It's kind of like a quirky, corny, fun song that got a lot of attention. So I'm gonna perform this solo for you in a second here. Stick around until after I play this solo because I'm gonna show you guys a tip to get this sound. It doesn't matter if you play tenor or alto. Man, doing that a few times, I'm actually kind of sweating. <laughs> okay, so here's a little tip to get that sound. I mean, the main tone that's coming from a style like this is a growl. I mean, the saxophonist is growling the entire time they're playing. Now, if you don't know how to do a growl, it's simply just like putting a pitch in your throat or humming a note while you play. The normal growl is just literally that. You hum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that growl kind of reminds me of like a Phil Woods, you know, using sparringly and things like that. This is literally like you want to grunt while you play. You know, so that is where it's coming from. If you don't have the, the regular growl um, master where you hum and do that, um, first get that down. And how you do that is you just go, um, you hum and then you put the instrument in your your mouth and you want to get used to the amount of air that you need to use to produce the tone in your throat and produce uh, a tone in the instrument. So you need that air to be vibrating the reed. And I think that's the hardest thing that uh, saxophonists deal with is just not producing enough air to make that both things vibrate, your voice and the reed. Work on that and then you can implement this like real more guttural grunt. <laughs> and the same thing applies. Start with that grunt and then play. And you wanna just keep doing that. And the grunt takes even more air than the humming growl. So that's the trick I wanted to show everyone. Uh, work on that growl technique and it's gonna really spring you off to get into this style of saxophone playing. Now, I wanna to put together a video that talks about all the nuances that are happening with this style, uh, the how-to, uh, but I wanna make sure the people viewing my videos would be interested in something like this. You know, I'm gonna talk about things like the yodel effect. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about some different fingerings I use on the alto specifically to sound like a tenor saxophone, that's always cool, and other things. It's not gonna just be for alto players. Tenor and alto players. You won't even really need to read music for this video. So let me know if you're interested. Comment um, if you have any questions that you want me to cover. I will use this solo, the Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree solo for the video. So if you have any questions about the style or this specific solo, let me know. I'll address them in the video. I'll give it like two months 
and gather all the comments, see who's interested, and then I'll put out that video and I'll let everyone know that was interested where to find that video. As we get into the new year, I do want to let everyone know that I offer Skype lessons. So if you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me online, um, that is available. Also, this is kind of a new exciting development. Saxophonists are finally finding me randomly on YouTube and actually sending me, emailing me recordings of themselves playing either YouTube videos or MP3 files and asking me to critique them. So, you know, I talk about anything they want me to address or I'll just kind of give a basic synopsis of uh, some techniques I think they can work on, my opinion on their sound, equipment, all of the above, basically. And it seems to be really helpful. So if you're interested in that, again, it's like, it's really convenient. You send me whenever you uh, have the time and I get back to you within a couple days. The first one's always free. So if you like it, I have a few kind of monthly plans that incorporate the email critiques in tandem with uh, personal video critiques that I record specifically for the student and uh, Skype lessons can be incorporated in the plan. Again, if you're interested in that, email me. My email is in the description below um, and I'll kind of get you up to speed with all that stuff. In the future though, I am trying to work on like a nice streamlined platform that's gonna showcase all the stuff I have to offer. Um, but for right now, email is gonna be the deal. I like email because it's kind of a nice personal connection with, um, with all you, so. Finally, I wanna wish everybody a happy and safe holiday, and I will see you next week. A little Rudolph fell. Okay, so, um, 